Tom trudged through the snow-covered path leading to his front door, his breath visible in the frigid air. The day had been long, and the biting cold seemed to seep into his bones. As he approached his house, he noticed something peculiar in his yard, an eerily sinister snowman, its charcoal eyes seemingly fixed on him, and a twisted grin etched across its snowy face. Initially dismissing it as a prank by neighborhood kids, Tom chuckled nervously and shook off the uneasy feeling. He entered his house, hoping the warmth inside would dispel the chill that clung to him. That night, however, an uneasy sensation lingered, and he found himself glancing out the window at the ominous snowman. The next evening, returning from work once more, Tom's heart skipped a beat. There were not one, but three more snowmen standing in his yard. Each wore a slightly different male event expression, their cold eyes seemingly following him as he approached. Unease settled in Tom's stomach as he considered the impossibility of children creating such elaborate figures in such a short time. His rational mind baffled against the rising tide of fear, convincing himself that it was just an elaborate prank, yet the snowmen seemed to mock him with their frozen grins, and an unsettling feeling clung to the air around them. Night after night, the sinister snowmen multiplied. Tom's once sincere yard now resembled a small army of icy sentinels their expressions growing more malevolent with each passing day. Whispers of unease circled through the neighborhood and Tom found himself avoiding glances out his window, dreading what he might see. One particularly cold evening, as Tom approached his house, he noticed a subtle shift in the snowman's positions. Their grins seemed wider more maleficent, and the once innocent winter scene now felt like a forebonding nightmare. Tentatively, he stepped closer, only to recoil in horror as he realized the snowmen were arranged in a pattern, a pattern that seemed to spell out a chilling message in the language of their frosty existence. Terrified, Tom tried to ease the menacing figures, but each time he destroyed one, another appeared in its place the next day, as if the very essence of the snow held a malevolent force. The once playful snowman had transformed into an ominous presence that haunted his every waking moment. As the winter nights grew longer, the snowmen seemed to close in on Tom's house, their frozen gazes penetrating the very walls of his home. The neighborhood, once filled with the laughter of children playing in the snow fell silent as the sinister snowman cast a chilling shadow over the community. Tom, now consumed by paranoia, questioned his sanity. Was this a cruel prank or something far more sinister? The air grew colder and the once familiar snowfall took an otherworldly quality. The snowmen, with their icy grins, stood as silent witness to a darkness that crept into Tom's life, turning his quaint winter wonderland into a haunting tableau of frozen and fear. Before the chilling tale of the sinister snowman unfolded, there was a weekend that cast a shadow over Tom's life. In the days leading up to the mysterious events in his yard, Tom had decided to escape the monotony of everyday life with a short trip to the local ski resort. However, the escape wasn't as refreshing as he hoped. Frustrated with the inconvenience of his stay, Tom found himself directing his discontent toward the maintenance guy, a humble worker named Joe who ensured the resort's facilities ran smoothly. The weekend started innocently enough, with Tom excitedly checking into the snowy retreat, yet the biting cold wasn't the only thing that made him shiver. Tom, accustomed to the comforts of his routine, grew increasingly irritable as small inconveniences piled up. From a lukewarm shower to a malfunctioning heater, every minor issue fueled his frustration. Enter Joe, the unassuming maintenance guy tasked with keeping the resort in working order. Tom, unable to contain his irritation, directed his anger toward Joe, belittling him with cutting remarks about the state of the facilities. Unbeknownst to Tom, his words left a lasting impression on Joe, who bore the weight of the insults with a quiet dignity. As Tom returned home after the weekend, unaware of the seed of resentment he had planted, the maintenance guy, nursing wounded pride, 
watched him go with a gaze that hinted at a growing storm. Little did Tom know that the events at the resort would cast a long shadow, setting the stage for a frosty revenge that would haunt him in the days to come. The chilling encounter at the ski resort was but the first frosty gust of a brewing storm, a storm that would manifest itself in the form of the sinister snowman that awaited Tom's return, carrying with them the bitter winds of retribution. As the sinister snowman multiplied in Tom's yard, he reached the end of his wits. Night after night, their menacing presence seemed to tighten its grip on his sanity. Driven to desperation, Tom decided he would put an end to the frozen nightmare once and for all. Determined, he grabbed a sturdy shovel and marched into the icy battlefield that was once his serene yard. The moon cast an eerie glow on the snowmen. Their malevolent grins seemed to mock Tom as he approached approached. One by one, he swung the shovel, knocking the heads off the frozen figures that had tormented him for days. Blinded by frustration, Tom failed to notice one of the snowmen that started to come to life, the snowman that concealed the vengeful soul of Joe, the maintenance guy from the ski resort. The snow around Joe's form cracked as he transformed, his eyes glowing with an otherworldly light. As Tom raised the shovel for a final blow, Joe, now a living snowman, sprang to life, his disguise fading away like the morning mist. Before Tom could react, Joe, armed with an icicle, turned dagger, plunged it into his back. The frigid pain seared through Tom's body as he crumpled to the ground, the shovel falling from his grasp. Joe, with an eerie calmness, began a ritual that would turn Tom into something new, a peaceful, happy, stone snowman. The once bitter maintenance guy seemed to revel in the power he now possessed, and a malevolent satisfaction played across his snowman features. As Joe worked his icy magic, the snow around Tom hardened, encasing him in a frosty cocoon. The transformation was swift, and the anguish on Tom's face slowly melted into a serene, almost content expression. His eyes, once filled with frustration, now glistened with an otherworldly peace. The process was complete. Joe stepped back, admiring his handiwork. Tom, now a stone snowman with a smile frozen on his face, stood amongst the decapitated remnants of his tormentors. The yard, once a battleground, transformed into a hauntingly beautiful sculpture garden. Joe, satisfied with the revenge he had exacted, retreated into the shadows, blending once more with the icy landscapes. The snowfall continued, covering the scene in a blanket of white, hiding the dark secrets beneath. And so, the stone snowman stood as a chilling monument to the tale of retribution, forever frozen in the cold embrace of a wintry night.